They're back. They're back. It's way more detonator. So, we're back to we'll finally watching a movie. What did we watch today? The 1989 Batman. Yeah, Batman starring Jack Nicholson, Michael Keaton, Kim Bay. I don't know if it's Basinger or Bassinger. I don't know. It's kind of batty. Yeah. All right, let's cut the crab. What do you What do you think? This movie is abusively long. It's, it's over two hours. <laughs> I was really excited to watch this movie, but then now that I've watched it with you, I was just like, you I was it. not, I was not invested in it. I so, many, I don't know how many people are gonna hate me for for not liking this uh, no, first one. You know what? It has mixed reviews. There are people who like it. Some people find that the plot is all over the place, which we'll get into. Uh, I think that's probably why it seems so long. Actually, there was too much of a love triangle going on, and they they focused too much time on that. Is that would you agree with that? Okay, I can see that the love triangle now that you brought it up, but I didn't really see that as I was watching the movie. So there's not only, you know, Bruce Wayne and then Vicky Vale, but there's also Vicky Vale and, and her partner Knox. Oh, I thought Bruce. you were going to say the Joker. And then there's also, of course, the Joker, yes. It's not a love triangle, that's a love square. A square, yeah, I guess. But yeah, primarily, yeah, it is a triangle, you're right. Okay, um, but, but yeah, as you were asking what I thought about the movie, it's abusively long. <laughs> I. I really just wanted to say I just I really wanted to stop the movie because every time I was really? checking like how long hey, you did the, a lot I saw I noticed <laughs> I was just I'm so, I'm sorry like I was so excited to see that I was like the first Batman the whole thing that started this quadrilogy of movies so just the pacing wasn't wasn't there really because because you know what Batman Returns was the same amount of time surprisingly 126 minutes ah uh, yeah was, when you said yeah. that I was like uh, well I guess we know which at least I know which one did better <laughs> I guess it returned with more favorable more favorably possibly yeah, maybe because it had like you know two villains and i don't know maybe just two antagonists yeah more more characters going i don't know it could be that uh also i think uh people when they first saw this they were surprised at how you know easily vicky bill gets in right into the into the match oh there's so much the, of that we'll get into yeah. that uh <laughs> It feels like 75% of this movie is just Bruce Wayne and he's really fucking boring. Well, that and uh, a lot of people said the Joker was th was the real star of this film, right? Yeah, this is... Like, Jack Nicholson definitely, uh, a lot of focus was on him. Like, he seemed like the more enjoyable he's... character. He uh, seemed like the more prominent Yeah, thing. he had more uh, enthusiasm. Uh, whereas Batman, you know, he's pretty dark. Dark night. Cold. Calculating. Um... One thing I found that was interesting is that when uh, we were watching this movie at the beginning, it kind of tricks you into thinking that it's going to be Bruce Wayne's family getting murdered, right? At the beginning, right off the bat. That, that's what I, that's right what off I the bat. thought. Oh, it wasn't, right? Wasn't it? No. Uh, no. It wasn't, no. I was like, because everyone knows who Batman's parents are, Thomas and Martha Wayne. But it was not. Why do you know their name? Yeah, no. But it was not, guys. It it's was uh, Harold and something. Yeah. And I was, so I was like, wait, that's not right. Sure enough, it was just an opening scene the family, of Batman. And they're trying to show that, you know, Batman can relate. It reminds him of what had happened to his family. So he doesn't want that to happen. So he's going to come down and, and, and stop these bad bad guys, right? And make a reputation for himself. Which is, a, actually, that's a really good scene. I like that scene. When he first comes down and you didn't think that was, that was pretty bad. No, no, that was a, that was a good, that was a good-ish opening. I like well, that where he came and is just like, So, I want you to tell your friends. <laughs> what are you? I'm, the bat I'm Batman. <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> that was, oh, that was should, a good opening you scene. Kept the mask. That's okay. But anyway, that that was a that was a good scene. I liked that scene. Um, but yeah, then it kind of just drags on. It tries to get into Bruce, you know, Wayne's lifestyle, but it doesn't. He doesn't feel like Bruce Wayne, right? He's not a Every play, playboy. You remember when that reporter popped up, and then he he kind of looked like the guy, uh, okay, like, uh, Michael Keaton, like. The reporter guy the looked Knox, at Knox, like uh, Knox looked yeah. at like Michael Keaton, and I thought Michael Keaton was a reporter guy. How was I? Like, Who's who? They had the same yeah, stupid style. hair. It was like a competition, really, right? It was like a knockoff. It was a subtle competition. And then even at the end, remember I told you he was uh he had like a bat. I said, well, I guess that's his version of Batman, right? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I. In all these movies, none yeah. of, none of the Bruce Waynes. Feel I like... can I can never look at them and be like, hey, that's Bruce Wayne. Every time I look at them, it's like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> Oh, Master Bruce. Oh, I, I, I didn't get the feel yeah. of it. Like, n even in the Nolan movies, I don't feel, I don't really feel it. Yeah, I mean, 
Christian Bale did it okay as Bruce, uh, Bruce Wayne compared to Michael Keaton's Bruce Wayne anyway, but I think... Uh, Michael... I haven't seen Val Kilmer yeah. as a Bruce Wayne. He did yet. okay. Michael Keaton as the Batman, though, I, I liked it. I mean, he, I liked it. He did a pretty good job. When the Batman I mean, stuff was happening, yeah, I was yeah. like, yes, something interesting is happening. Which is cool, because uh, when he was first cast, there was a lot of controversy. They say, what? You're getting like the guy who was in Mr. Mom to play Batman. Is this a joke? And Beetlejuice. Yeah, and Beetlejuice. But he did a good job in Beetlejuice. But anyway, uh, yeah, they were really upset that he was in this movie. And then when they saw it, oh, you know, it's not bad. Not as bad as they thought. As, as Bruce Wayne, like yeah, that's the only thing lost, that wasn't working. Compl- completely lost me because in the in the in, in my DVD copy there was the casting thing where it was like we needed someone someone funny, serious, and thing. And I was like, I did not see a single <laughs> one of that in the movie. Not very. Well, not the, the part where. You know, they're confronting each other in Vicky's apartment, and he's like, You wanna get nuts? Come on! Let's get that. He's, he seemed like yeah. Be- Beetlejuice there. Like, yeah, the I, was, I, was, I was like, I was like, Oh, that's where that line is. <laughs> like, and it's like, That's so. It did feel like that's something right. a Bruce Wayne would do. I mean, but... There's a lot of things in this movie yeah, that doesn't make feel, sense. That yeah. doesn't feel uh, right. Well, on that note, I know and when they're in the museum, and then somehow the, uh, Joker tricks Vicky into going there to meet Bruce Wayne, but it's actually he's gonna meet a uh, Joker. And we're like, how did the hell did that happen? Like, how did he, she... I didn't even notice. I didn't yeah, it's even like, notice. like, how did he trick her into, like, did he have, like, a voice Change. matching thing or changing, like... Did he send a letter or something? They didn't have a scene. It was just, like, Vicky's at the actually, museum. Yeah, that could make... Yeah, actually, that makes, makes sense. Because at the end of the movie, I think Harvey Dent gets a letter from Batman, remember? Mm, that's so true. Like, maybe that's what they did. Yeah, that could make sense. I mean... But still, it doesn't... It's... <laughs> that scene was not explained. She, it was just, we're at the museum, yeah. and then it's, like, uh calls Bruce Wayne or it's like, tries oh, to. Mr. Wayne, uh, Vicky told me to tell you she'd be 10 minutes late. He's like, okay, thanks. He's like, wait, I'm not meeting her today. He's like, there you go. And okay. I was just like, what the fuck's going on? And you you saw the movie and what happened, so yeah. you pieced all that together. Yeah. I would have pieced it later, but at that point, I was like, what are weird. you talking about? I, I'm, I'm watching this movie and trying to stay awake, <laughs> like paying attention to it, and it's just like, huh, what's going on now? That, that was weird. The other weird thing is, like, you don't even need to be a Batman fan. It's like, Batman and Vicky just get together, like... Yeah, it happens really quick. I mean... I know it's a movie, but still, that's, like, very Disney-esque. Yeah, it's like a love story, typical thing. Even, like, you mentioned, like, the Cinderella, where the Joker's dropping her shoe down uh, the, the stairway. And yeah, all. I, was, I was like, so, hmm. <laughs> it was definitely, like, a Disney-like, yeah, feeling to it. Um, even some of the animation, right? Like, when... Oh, that opening scene with like, Batman the cape and like you know the way it moves. Yeah, that was just like that. That was, that was kind <laughs> was of like, funny. I was like, okay, is this was that like a prelude? Prelude? Oh, sorry, prelude to Batman animated series, maybe because it kind of looked like that, right? I mean, Which potentially came, came out later, and uh, I mean, Danny Elfman provided the music for both both of those. Yeah, things. yeah, the theme yeah, music here is like a... it's, it's a, one of the best things in this movie, right? It's what keep you awake. Maybe. That the uh, <laughs> Batman, uh, the Batmobile. Yeah, Batmobile is really cool. Yeah. Yeah, even though uh, it, it, I forget sh- shields, like it was like five <laughs> minutes after running away from the car, not yeah, right when it's it supposed to hit him, he's like stop. Or like, like, why didn't you do it earlier? The car didn't. He didn't program the car to know to detect uh, him. Can track him, but won't know that he's gonna run into him. Yeah, that's kind of funny. Uh, things that let me see. Some other things that weren't good. You you were telling me about like the fans, like the the purest, the purest. Uh, uh, about well, Batman, they didn't like the fact that they made the Joker the killer of his of his parents, right? I mean, that is kind of very almost like a tragic, you know, Shakespearean play in a way, right? Like, but I think it, it but may- I actually kind of liked it because near the end, it was the Joker's like, uh, "Wow, you made me, you <laughs> threw me in the ashes and shit," and then Batman's like, "That's but right, you, but you made me first. and then he's like, "What the fuck are you? Not what the fuck? Like, like, why would you kill like, your parents? What right? are you talking about?" He must be batty. <laughs> it was like I like that. It was yeah, like I guess. it kind of. It's like the. It's a nice like circle yeah, around full circle. Yeah. Full circle. I, I like yeah, that. That was kind of cool. But then it, it ends like, it's like Batman came all this way. Then he's gonna kill the killer of his parents. And then what is he gonna do after that? Right. I mean, like, he's just gonna keep fighting crime. Yeah. This movie kind of like at least does not elude to a sequel. Yeah, because at the end it seemed like he's just gonna be with with Vicky Vale and. Uh, I mean, but they have a life. But they changed it in, in Batman Returns because his life is complex. I guess as he. As I was I was telling you that maybe in this movie it could be like he actually went out with Vicky, had a life, and like moved on. But in the sequel, it's like, what if he was like, no, Vicky, my life is too complicated because because I'm Batman. <laughs> and then you know you could just get. I, I want to see movies that do that where it's like the first movie is just like it's self-contained, but the sequel is it like, is. what if he did? What if the 
protagonist something did something different that was like that would make a sequel occur. So in this case, it would be like, what if he didn't like settle down, and then you know it continues and another thing happens and goes on. No movie's done that. My idea. <laughs> Fuck you. So mentioning you mentioned the sequel uh, originally. Do you want to know what it was supposed to be like? What? So originally, the Joker was actually somehow going to survive that fall. I don't know how, but like say, I mean, they made a video game where he returns, so like maybe it's possible anyway. So he's supposed to come back. The return and, of Joker. Kind of, yeah. And then Robin was going to come along, surprisingly. And people said, well, it doesn't really work out. Like, why? how is Robin going to fit, like, a dark movie like this? So they just kind of scrapped it and then worked out. I think Vicky Vale was also supposed to be in the sequel, but they just... She was mentioned. That was about yeah, it. Yeah, so they kind of scrapped it. And then they, they, they brought on uh, the Penguin and uh, Catwoman instead. So Which apparently I liked. Yeah. But uh, apparently Harvey Dent, or Two-Face, in this movie... He's he, nothing. He was underused by uh, Billy D. Williams, the same guy who was in uh, Lance Curtis, uh, Christian Star Wars series. Lando. So, Lando Christian, sorry. Uh, yeah, I was so, like, is that is that Lando? Yeah, it is. They didn't use him very well in this in this movie, unfortunately. I mean, because Harvey Dent's a pretty big character in the Batman universe. Wait, did, did, and, uh, did, did, did the fans complain about, like, oh, why is Harvey Dent black? Maybe. I'm Fuck. Not, I'm not sure. I mean, that, that was okay. Whatever. They can do that. He didn't do anything didn't anyway, do anything. so it's like, it wouldn't have mattered. And they didn't bring him back, because in the sequel, he was going to have more of a role in that, apparently, but... Isn't yeah. isn't he in uh, Batman Forever? Forever? Which is the third movie, so they waited until... It took forever, but eventually, yes, Harvey Dent came back in 1995. You know, they could have done something where it's like, Harvey Dent was like Bruce Wayne's friend, like in the, like in the anime series, yeah. and progressively in the movie, and then in the third, he becomes a fucking, yeah. uh, fucking nuts. Yeah, could have done that. But he's he's not even in the sequel, is he? In Batman Returns. At no, all. I don't remember they just him at all. Him with, uh, Max Shrek, who was the really evil guy. You know? Wait. Well, Max. The Ma- Walker. Yeah. Oh, Christopher, Christopher Walken. Walken. Yeah. yeah. Uh, any other positives that we can come across? Oh, I was gonna say the whole like, uh, oh, Batman kills people. That's not <laughs> right. It's like. He did in the original uh, comics, guys. He, <laughs> I love how you yeah. told me it was like the, the, the comic purists are like, Batman never kills. Yeah, yeah, And then just flip a comic yeah. and it's like, oh, well, pierce my ass. I think what it was, it was... Pure bullshit. The, the 60s Batman fans, the ones who watched the TV show, were expecting that kind of campy Batman style. That's why a lot of parents were angered when this came out. They thought, like, what? Why isn't it, like, you know, all cartoony and childish? But uh, Oh, yeah, you were telling me, like, yeah. you never got to actually watch the I didn't the get to movie. watch it in the theater because, yeah, the violence was... It was dark for what it was. I mean, probably should have had a higher... Like, I think you said PG-13. PG-13 seems a little right. I mean, he roasted that guy with his with his hand. That was a pretty Yeah, there's pretty that. Dark scene. Um... What else was people there? People falling into acid. Yeah. Although that wasn't... That was, like, yeah, whatever. Uh, I guess it doesn't... I, mean, I think the roasting was, like, the most... Yeah. Most thing. And then they're like, the curse words like, come here, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Speaking of which, that was a that was a bad moment. Okay, so Batman has him, lo- <laughs> he has him locked on target, guys, okay? Wait, wait okay, it's setting up the scene. The scene where it's the parade and Batman's in his ship and he's yeah. going to shoot down and the Joker's Joker. like, come to me, right? So he comes down, he has him locked on target, like, purely locked on, and he misses. Everything doesn't hit, okay? So guys, originally in the storyboards, what was supposed to happen was the Joker was supposed to jump around like a madman and actually avoid everything. But, I guess Jack Nicholson being like, Jackass, that he is, was too lazy. You know what, I'm just gonna stand here and nothing's gonna I'll let my ego protect <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah. that, that's, what, that's what pretty much happened. See, if he did the dance thing, yeah, I, you the, know, I would have believed yeah, that. Yeah, in the storyboard, you're supposed to, you know, dodge everything like a frantic And idiot. it's not like, it's it's not specifically like Batman's fault, like for the targeting yeah. thing. It's, it's, every fucking movie does it, where it's like, that's like locked on target. <laughs> I'm like, it's not. Yeah. It, you know, when it's locked on target, I expect it to be locked on target. No, I guess not. Fuck all you movies, <laughs> okay? Bullshit. <laughs> and then another thing uh, they didn't mention in the movie was the, you know, the how Joker's saying my face on the one dollar bill, right? Oh yeah, that was another thing. In the, was... in the book, yes, you actually see his face on those dollar bills that he's throwing to the audience. Because I was million. saying, I was saying like, hey, aren't they gonna find out it's gonna be uh, his face on the one dollar bill somehow? Because he just comes across the two million bucks for some reason, no like bank heist or anything. But I guess in the movie they, tr- they decided to change it. Perhaps maybe they thought that you know we're gonna show this how crazy this guy is really is. So he really doesn't give a shit about money. So he just they actually just dumps it. He stole it anyway. Kind of like you know the Heath Ledger Joker when he burns the, the mo- uh, money in the mo- in his movie. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could was, be that. Yeah, I was like, how did you, how did you get two million dollars? Like, just out of nowhere. I guess because he's in the crime boss thing, and he's just use, wasting their money. He's like, I don't give a shit. It's not my money, specifically. 
If they wanted to do the one dollar, like his face on the dollar bear, I would have been like voice over one of the guys and be like, "Hey, what? Wait a minute, what's with this guy's <laughs> face on the dollar bill?" Yeah, they could have added that easily, but I guess they, they just changed the direction. Yeah. Speaking of direction, uh, Tim Burton, what do you think? How, how did he direct the scenes? And it's really dark, Tim Burton. I know like, you direct dark, like literally films, dark. But, but come on, it's I can not see, see some of the stuff. <laughs> some of it is appropriate. Other times, it's, it's like, just like. Yeah, I might. We might as well have been looking at a black screen. Yeah, sometimes it's really too dark. Like say uh, the clock tower part that was a little too dark. Yeah, the Bat Cave was also a little too dark. Just, I guess, dude, it's too fucking dark. I guess we're trying to create like an ominous feel to it, but still, I mean, was, you have to be able to <laughs> see the ominous feel. <laughs> I mean, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the nineteen eighty nine, or uh, actually was it or nineteen ninety film? Sorry, that one also was very dark. And but gritty. it was more. V- you could see people, yeah. Yeah, I, I could see it better. So maybe the DVD just didn't, yeah, transfer it properly. Yeah, it could be, could be maybe, <laughs> I mean, because we have like talked about like before how my TV is kind of like a yeah, darken a few scenes sometimes. But yeah, I mean, the movie came out and it was very successful. Uh, it was a blockbuster movie. Thankfully successful. Yeah, I think they're. I mean, at a, a two hour plus movie, I mean, it is pretty long for for what it is. Um, but I guess the, the hype was really was really big and it sold it well um they had action figure lines at the time they had video, video games. games of course speaking of which we were mentioning that uh some of the characters in the movie aren't in the game at all and oh yeah what about the thing where batman was getting kicked by this nobody get his, his oh, the, ass kicked by this, this nobody big, this, the big black uh guy at the end was like, really giving batman a hard time and he's not in the game for some reason but yeah. <laughs> well, he was in the. I think he was in the Turbo Graphics uh, yeah. game. And oh yeah, I was telling you about how in the museum level, Batman has to clean up the vandalism. That's pretty funny. I was like, I was like, when you said you heard me say that, you were like, what? Yeah, that sounds like something the '60s Batman would do, not the 1989 Batman. That's true. Like, come on. Here's a guy who's like blowing up Axis chemicals. He's just like as destructive as the Joker in his own way. But I mean, like, come on, he's not gonna clean up like the mess, <laughs> right? Can you actually clean up a painting that's been vandalized? I don't know. Is it possible? <sighs> Maybe not. No, right? I think I think it's pretty much fucking ruined. Yeah, Unless yeah. it was like they just sprayed the glass, but they didn't have glass. And let me guess, there's there's like a time limit that the game gives. Actually, you. yes, <laughs> I think, I think there was. <laughs> oh my god, really? A time limit, uh, but it's kind of like a general time limit. Yeah, that's true. So. Funny. Anyway, uh, what else can we really say about Batman? Um, mm, there's a theme. The overall plot is just kind of all. It drags on, and which is why I didn't like it. And the Bruce Wayne part is like, fuck. The thing with Vicky was, but fuck. But I guess the Batman character himself and the Joker, those are probably the highlights of this this movie for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and like, the music, sir. Daniel oh yeah, the great. music too. And uh, but even like some of the Joker scenes are just like, fuck. Did you like the the boxing glove and the? Some of those were like like funny. Like it was he was in character. Screen. I liked it when he was in character, but other times it's just kind of like uh, when he was doing the whole thing. When I was like, "Oh hey, Vicky, I love you. <laughs> I want you to get down low and love my purple nipple, <laughs> if you know what I mean." Yeah, what was going on there? That was just kind of like it's like the Joker doesn't yeah. love people. He loves himself. Yeah, you know that's the which version which I the beginning of the film did imply because remember like that Alicia love interest was like. Saying you look fine, and she's like touching his. And he's like, I didn't ask. Remember? So that that that's more like the Joker. But then like with Vicky, I guess everybody's in love with Vicky. Like Batman goes crazy for her, Joker goes crazy over her, Knox goes. They're over. all sticky over Vicky. Yeah, right. It seems that way. Like everybody's just in love with her. Yeah, she's like the well, Beauty and the Beast. But the Joker called her the Beast, which was kind of, kind of <laughs> showing how how he's all about. That's his. That, that's his thing, and that's a very a, Joker thing. Yeah, so, like, uh... so that was. I guess that was spot on. That he thinks he's the he's all the, the show, right? But um, yeah. I mean, for what it was at its time, it's an okay movie. It's not the greatest movie of all, of its kind. Would you recommend people nowadays to watch, watch it, it or rewatch it? Um, uh, I mean, de- definitely check it out. There are some enjoyable aspects of the film. Uh, it's not it's not a terrible movie by any means. Um, but I think it's it's better than the Batman and Robin and. You know, I wanted I mean, to say I want. I really want to say that too, but I kind of would have watched you, Batman really? and Robin. You would, because at least it, it was it was campy, so like so bad to the point. So it's like, like so you like the campy style. Well, no, I like the dark style okay. too. But the way like this one, like the this Batman was done, it was just it dragged on too much. I was losing interest like a lot. 
but and right. like uh, I know everyone hates, doesn't like Batman and Robin, but at least it like it had a. Um, it wasn't as long, and it at least had like a bunch of funny moments in it. Like you know, we're like so bad it's funny, kind of. Yeah, I can see that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess Batman Forever. We we literally waited forever. We're gonna that's gonna be the last one we review. So we 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 didn't do them in order, guys. So sorry about that. But we'll be back. Yes, we're back. Yeah, and so for my recommendation for the original Batman movie. If you've never seen it, at least check it out. But um, yeah, it's not bad. Don't man. don't watch it by yourself, honestly. Because <laughs> if I watched it by myself, I would have shut the movie off really? after like wow. the hour mark. Because it's just so boring. So I'm thankful that you were here watching it with me. It prolongs it. Uh, funny. Th- well, I wouldn't say a funny thing, but interesting note. Uh, Vicky Vale originally was not supposed to be played by Kim Basinger. Mm-hmm. Uh, she was supposed to be played by Sean Young. You were Blade Runner. Remember, oh, remember the replicant. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the one that uh, Harrison Ford's character goes with? Yeah, I'm trying to remember what her name was, though, in that movie. Damn it. Okay, but it's that, it's that lady. Yeah, it's the same actress who, who played the Huh, that in- movie. interesting. I can, I can see that. So it's what, ha- what happened, apparently, there was a scene where they're going to be trotting on horses by his, I don't know, his mansion, I guess, or whatever, like outside the mansion. And she actually got injured, for real. And they bring that up in the movie, and kind of like as a joke, remember, like, Alfred's talking about that story where Master Wayne was like young and he fell off the horse and oh so they, they reversed that but they made it look like Wayne, you know Bruce Wayne got injured as a kid but actually it was Sean Young who got injured for real on the set and she wasn't able to finish the movie because of that and they brought in Kim Basinger to reshoot yeah and then Batman Returns uh, Sean Young d- demanded to play Catwoman like she really wanted to be in part his, of in, it and they just denied her and she never got back in the series huh? it's unfortunate damn but, yeah, that's actually what happened guys. I Damn, that sucks. Yeah, that I feel suck. bad for you. Yeah, that is bad. Because, like, at least Batman Returns is, like, good. Yeah. Like, or I liked Batman Returns. If you liked the original Batman, that's okay. It's just, like, <laughs> that mixed review you're talking about. I guess I'm on the other side where I'm just like, uh, I, I want to like it, but it's like... Yeah, Michelle Pfeiffer, you know, she did well as, as Catwoman. Uh... Sean Young does have the dark hair, which the original Catwoman's supposed to have, but uh, we'll never know how that would have turned out. Um, it's unfortunate that it didn't happen, but I, I think Batman Returns worked out with Michelle Pfeiffer regardless. So, and uh, yeah, the character was uh, was uh, Rachel. That was her name, and the uh, Blade Runner Rachel. Oh, yeah. yeah. It just returned to me right now because we're talking about Batman Returns. Jeez. Ah, all right, guys. I'll have a dark night. And uh, we'll be back, right? Yeah, we'll be back next time for for another movie of unless, some sorts. Unless we commit suicide. We watch Suicide Squad. You ready? Yeah. Bang. It's Wiz Warren D. Titanator. It's Wiz Warren D. Titanator. It's Wiz Warren D. Titanator. Bang. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't do the noise, or does it? No, it does. Oh, that's, oh, that's all right. That's it.